Today, I'm not just experiencing nature, I'm capturing it. The circle of life. We're going off the beaten path. We're on an extreme photo adventure. Get in late. Let's get wet. Oh my goodness. We're alive. It's the starting point of Grandma's Marathon. It's also home to the state's oldest continually running lighthouse, and it's the birthplace of 3M. We're here in two harbors, and like the marathon, we're gonna use it as the starting point for our photo adventure as we make our way up the North Shore to Split Rock Lighthouse. Photographer Christian Dahlbeck of Two Harbors embraces the frigid, extreme conditions of Lake Superior and promises to get me out of my comfort zone to find a unique perspective of the North Shore. This adventure combines several of my interests, so I'm really looking forward to meeting Christian. Let's go. All right, here we are with Christian. Tell me a little bit about this spot. What's the significance? We're right here on the shores of Lake Superior. I, I basically grew up right down the road about a half mile from here. Mm. This actually is the first spot where I put a wetsuit on and got back in the lake. Cause I used to scuba dive back in the day and this is where we started. All right, so your photography, I see it hanging all around town. You know, what does photography add to your life? What is it about for you? Uh, the photography kind of helped me find nature again. When I started, I wasn't sure what my subject would be, but Lake Superior, it just drew me in like everyone else from all around the world. I see so many people enjoying the shores of Lake Superior. That's the thing about it, right in your backyard, something you might have become disconnected with just by taking it for granted. You rediscovered what was always there and yeah. know, brought out that appreciation. All right, so what are we doing first? Well, we're gonna go take a walk in the woods and take some photos, and then we're gonna go up the shore towards Split Rock. Hey, all right, I'm ready to get it, let's go. So Christian, I've taken lots of hikes before, but what's the difference between taking a hike and taking a hike with a camera? I think if you're just gonna go take a hike, it might help you get out there and get you out of where you can relax and get some bad things off your mind or just your day off your mind. And maybe getting out there with a camera, it's gonna help you just relax even a little farther. You're gonna start looking for other things out there in front of you to stop and focus on like snow on a branch or when it's real cold, the frost that comes out on all these needles and stuff, and your hike might become more of a crawl. When you start seeing nature, it's hard to, to pass it by. Yeah, it's very well put. I like the, uh, just the whole scope of things. When you look at the forest for the trees, and then you just look at an individual tree, and then you just look at an individual branch, and then you just look at an individual pine needle, Yeah, and it just gets pretty amazing. Yeah, even, even the trees that are dead in here, are full of life because they're full of bugs, which brings the woodpeckers to them. And I mean, it's full of pileated woodpeckers in here and lots of other birds, so. The circle of life. <laughs> so what kind of stuff catches your eye? Usually something out of the ordinary that maybe you would have walked right by. Like uh, right over here on this tree that S somehow it looks like that crack has been uh, developing like a growth on it. Yeah, like you know, it came out of the inside of it and just yeah. grew out. Yeah, it's really nice to uh, have a reason to look in all directions. You can always get hyper-focused on just your next step. And on a sunny day like this, you got all the light and the shadows and the contrast. So. Yeah. Yeah, but, that's the perks of uh, winter in Minnesota. There's no mosquitoes and the bears are asleep. Power of nature, it can really just turn your day around, just bring you back, back to earth, back to center. Simplicity, a little bit of cold is good for you. Just, you know, just to remind you you're alive. Yeah, I like it. So speaking of cold, I'm thinking I kind of want the true Dahlbeck experience. What do you think? I don't know, are you ready for that? As ready as I'm gonna get. <laughs> I think we gotta find a lake then. I, I've heard of one, pretty big one, right down the street. It's superior. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> I 
All right, here we are at Split Rock. It's pretty amazing, the view, the sun. Man, that's beautiful. So I see a lot of rocks and stuff out here. What's the plan? Are we going far out? Are we, what's going on? Yeah, the rocks are pretty sharp and will hurt your knees if you bang against it and could even rip your suit. And then you got a lot of cold water coming in. Yeah, let's try to avoid that. So this place is obviously beautiful, but is there anything else that uh, like draws you into the water here? It's kind of set up just perfect for me for everything I love with doing wave photography. There's a lot of different depths and stuff here and putting that lighthouse right in the back of my shot so it's in the back of that wave. Iconic. That's what brings me here is that's majestic. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So my style of photography would be Lake Superior looking back at you. All right, let's get equipped. <laughs> let's get suited up. Let's suit it up, all right. <laughs> All right, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Get in the lake. Let's get wet. Whee! Holy Lord. Oh, <laughs> yes. Are we ready? Uh, as ready as I'm going to be. This is wild. Oh, yeah, there it is on my back. Oh, my goodness. Here, we'll take a selfie with this. I've got long arms. Hey, all right. Woo! We're alive! And this is pretty unique. A little. A little 35 degrees in your face. It's refreshing. My neoprene suit is doing its job, though. I'm cold, but I'm not, like, uh, in panic mode or anything. My lips feel a little frozen, and I can't talk out of my nose. The sun's just hitting the, the hill up there. It's going to start thinning itself out, and it's going to make it perfect to get out here and watch the light. It's up the cliff. What we gotta do for the shot? Oh, anything. Yeah, these are unique shots. I just got hit with a iceberg. Oh. That's a good shot. <laughs> no, no, no! I like those icicles over there. That's a good still shot. That shadow. Woo! <laughs> Christian, we're alive. My wetsuit feels like it's becoming solid uh, the longer we stand here. Thank you so much for having me. Man, seeing the way you capture your photography, it translates the magic, the love of the experience goes into those pictures. So thanks for letting me be a part of it, man. Thank you, Chance, and I'm glad you had a chance to get outdoors with me and actually see this place for with your own two eyes. Uh, it's crazy, I will not forget this. Awesome, thank you. Feeling has returned to my fingertips. What a day. We got to go to Two Harbors, spend a little time at Split Rock, and got to hang out with Christian, sharing his passion and joy for outdoor photography. Even got a little wet in perspective I can't say I've ever had before. What a sweet day. Remember, don't let your comfort zone be a cage. Life is meant to be experienced. So until next time, Chance, signing up. Wow.